Hey, good morning, friend. Welcome back to Bahu Automation Lab once again. In the test ng framework tutorials, we have already seen what is test ng, why we do we need to need a test ng in Selenium, what are the benefits of using test ng and test ng annotations, parameterization in test ng. In the last previous lecture, we have seen include and exclude test methods in test ng XML file. Okay. In this online video tutorial, we will try to learn groups in test ng. This is also a very important topic while working with the real time test ng framework. Okay, we'll see this concept practically. Why we need a grouping in test ng? Because, for example, in previous session, we have already seen include and exclude test method in test ng, right? In include, uh, for example, like uh, I have 100 test cases in my test ng XML file, okay, and I just want to run five from them, right? So I simply include that five test cases, okay, and run um, that test cases only, okay, right? And if I want to run uh, remaining all the 17, right? So I simply exclude that five test cases from that, uh, then uh, from that test in XML file, okay? This is the concept while working with the include and exclude tag, okay? We have seen regular exceptions also in the include and exclude. If you not what that previous, uh, section, uh, please guys watch previous session first and then come to this session. Okay, so in this uh, practical session, we will try to learn groups in test ng. Why this group is important in test ng? Just understand the theoretical part perfectly first, then we'll do this concept practically. Okay, let's assume that you have like a 20 test cases or 40 test cases uh, in your different, different classes. Okay. In previously, we have seen like a one single test. Uh, uh, we have created one single test and we have single class. Okay, like for example, let's go to Eclipse. What we have done previously, like we have one banking class. Uh, okay, in this banking class, we have in this test cases like a car loan, uh, personal loan, home loan, and uh, uh, bike loan and sign in section. This is, and uh, we have one test in JXML file for this, where we have include exclude banking and with the regular exhibitions, right? Because we, this is the one single class. What if we have multiple class like this in uh, in your one package, okay? And uh, in test in JXML file, uh, in every class we have multiple methods, right? Or multiple tests in that in the, that that classes, okay? And uh, Clients wants to run four or five or six test cases from them every time. Okay, the client's requirement is that he clients wants to run five or four test cases every time from that different different classes. Okay, so how do you achieve that? Okay, let's see that practically. In this time, the group concept will come into the picture because group, how we become a group. Okay, sometimes in manual testing. Uh, clients wants to do so just ask you to do some sanity check on the application. Sometimes he asks to uh, do some uh, smoke test on the application. Okay, and uh, sometimes he wants to do execute all the regression suited. Okay, execute all the regression test cases. Sometimes he wants to execute only smoke. Sometimes he wants to execute only sanity test cases and different different types of test cases. So this concept, how do you achieve through this test in JXML file? We will see this practically in this session. Okay, so this is very important uh, topic, guys. Watch this video carefully to understand perfectly concept about grouping. After that, you will able to answer any question related to the uh, to the um, group concept from the test in JXML file. Let's I'll create one more uh, class here, like a banking. Now let's create a house. One more class like a banking account class. Okay. And in this banking account class, I'll create a, some test cases like public. Uh, let's say, first of all, we'll create a one account like a current account. And again, I'll create a One more uh, test like public void, let's say saving account. I'll create one more test case like this same. Public void, let's say salary account. And 
one more test line. Let's say public void empty. Okay, give address uh, annotations for every test. Let's say test and. Uh, Add the it. Let's import a uh, test from test engine annotations. Now, I'll just printing message here. Okay, whenever you're doing these steps, you do practically for uh, as per your test cases. I'll just printing some message here like system dot out dot in the current. Just copy this one and in mean, saving the account section. Okay, again, I will paste it here. Same message and just type here like a salary account section in this and in the account section okay. now we have two classes like okay one class is like a uh, banking this one is one classes where we have like one two three four five test cases and in second class also we have four test cases okay and, uh, calculate one test in jx help help for these two classes okay like a banking and uh, banking account so create a new the Separate test case test engine to understand it properly. Okay, I will remove this test engine demo it's for annotation class, it's not required here. Okay, so I'll create a test engine to for this. Okay, test engine two, and I'll just remove this test engine demo from here, which is not required because uh, I have explained test engine annotation in test engine demo file. Okay, we have two, uh, two classes create. Uh, related to the banking section okay banking domain like here we have loan section in banking in only banking class and in, this is the banking account section okay and for sure clients want to done do some smoke test case run uh, for every de deployment for example uh, every day we have some deployment uh, happen in a in our organization okay and uh, what client wants to run smoke test every day okay and on weekly basis run uh, like a sanity okay and uh, for uh, some time after like uh, two or three weeks every day we require to do regression uh, uh, like um after like a main deployment after two three weeks we require to do the regression suit uh, run regression suit so this is the requirement okay just for the example purpose for your understanding purpose maybe this will happen in your company daily basis for regression daily basis for some of sanity whatever it, it's as per your requirement but let's assume that you every day we require to run smoke test only every day uh, every two week we require to run uh, sinet test or every three weeks we require to run full regression suit assume that we have only here like a two classes we have multiple hundred plus classes in this uh, package and we have uh, like a 200 plus test cases in uh, all this package okay and the requirement is like we require to run uh, like a 40 from that all that uh, 200 test cases we require to run uh, uh, in sanity uh, sanity suit and uh, for smoke test suit we require to uh, require to run like a 20 test cases and uh, in regression we require to run all 200 assume that okay so here we have total test cases like five and uh, four here we have nine test cases total right so assume that we require to run four test cases uh, for a smoke group okay and uh, required to uh, run like um, six to seven test cases or six test test cases for a sanity group okay so how to do the smoke and sanity so simple we have to write a test and add the rate group uh, in bracket at the rate sanity for example i'll uh, write this sentence again we need to pass here like a group this is the syntax okay groups and is equal to 
in bracket in this test annotation itself okay and we require to give the bracket and this bracket we need to pass like a smoke whatever you smoke you want to run you just need to pass and complete these curly brackets here okay so this is the syntax we need to pass in the test annotation itself okay so we have a banking personal loan as a smoke group we are we have a, a banking home loan as a smoke group okay in this uh, particular class like a banking class i'll add one more smoke group in the uh, banking accounts uh, banking account class as well okay so i'll just copy this one here and paste it here so this three test cases runs under the smoke group okay and uh, let's say i'll add one more in a smoke group as well okay let's say I, this four test cases uh, will run in a smoke group so I have created test ng XML file. So how to add that group in this test ng and a uh, test ng XML file? Okay. So that's the concept where we can include that group in our test ng XML file. Let's say for this soup name, I'll name it as like a banking and uh, this test name will write as a regression. Banking regression suit. Okay, and this test name as a regression. And uh, in this test, after this test, we need to create a group for test cases, right? So how to do that? Create that groups. So here in test in XML file, one uh, tag name it's called as a groups. Okay, so we uh, require to provide that tag name here, groups. And inside it, this groups, we require to provide one more tag. It's called as a run. Okay. And in this run, what we have to do? Let's say assume that run. So one more tag as a run. And in this run tag, we need to uh, include, add one more tag. It's called include. Just let's close this run here. After the include exclude tag, okay. So we have provided here to okay. just close that run tags and include, and we need to provide a, whatever group you want to run. Like we have defined here smoke group, right? So just provide that name in this tag in the include tag. Okay, so it's double bracket, I think. Let's close it. So we have provided here the tag is called group. So how to uh, do that? So I'll just uh, we need, need to add groups as a tag under test. And after that, under groups tags, we need to add the run tag. After run tag, we need to add an include tags and in include, we need to provide a group name like we have provided in smoke group here. Okay, close this run tag and close this group tag. So in this classes, whatever groups we have defined like a smoke, that test cases will be run after running this test cases. After running this test ng XML file. For example, if I run this with right click and run a test ng XML file, let's see what is the output. So output here is I am in a salary account, I am in a saving account, I am in a home loan account, I am in a personal loan account. So for example, I'll come to here. So smoke is defined as a First of all, I am in a saving uh, salary account. Okay, so salary account is uh, defined here. It, this test is defined as a smoke, right? Then saving account also this is defined as a smoke and uh, home loan, home loan section. So let's check home loan section. Yeah, in this banking. Yeah, this is the banking home loan section. I am in a home loan section, and this is I am in a personal loan section. Perfect. So this is how can we define a. Uh, groups in test ng xml file for example if i want to run sanity test cases so what we can do we'll just uh, change add here a sanity name and whatever sanity test case you want to run you just define like this in your test ng xml file okay and if you want to run all the test cases, simply uh, simply create a test ng xml file or remove this one from the your test ng xml file and all whole regression suit will get executed Okay, so this is how we can use groups in your 
testing g x min i okay that's in it in this lecture guys if you have any doubt related to this uh, concept you can simply comment out to me uh, i'll give the answer related to this okay if you have any question regarding interview for the prospective you just ask me so do, do this practically by yourself okay in real time example the taken uh, real time data okay and uh, uh, understand this concept practically okay don't forget to share subscribe bahu automation lab okay let's meet in next chapter of this testing g framework session till time have a great day take care bye bye